everybody. Thanks for checking out my channel. Welcome back. In the previous video listed here, I transformed a room in our house so that my wife could sell LuLaRoe clothing out of it. Part of that transformation was to build an actual pallet wall for her as a design feature. Now I'm going to take those scraps and build her a table. If you want to check out how I did it, stick around. It's going to be fun. First thing I had to do was go to my wood storage unit and pick out the pieces. I tend to hoard pieces and I don't throw many things away, so finding pieces that would work or finding enough pieces was definitely not a problem. I had a couple of really nice and really interesting bases from pallets that I used for the legs. The idea I have is to cut, is to knock things around. The idea for the top is to cut all of these scraps into smaller pieces, glue them to the plywood, and create kind of a puzzle slash mosaic kind of random effect. Let's see how it works. So the piece of plywood was just one I had lying around as a three quarter inch piece. And I just cut it down to a random size that I thought would fit for the space that we were putting it in. And then just spent a long time cutting up pallet pieces. Then I went to the bandsaw and just cut a few at an angle just to see, and uh, just to give it a little variety. Brought all the pieces inside and my wife and I went through chose a pattern that we liked, and then I glued it up. And there it is. I didn't worry about being perfect, and I didn't worry about filling in all the gaps. We just made it to what we liked. Well, that was drying, I moved on to the legs. You definitely don't have to do this if you don't have a joiner, but I have one, I'm lucky enough to have one. I just ran all the legs over the joiner. And smacked my camera. Luckily, it was fine. Ran all the boards over a few times just to get them a little flatter. I'm sure they're not perfect. Joy of having a small shop, everything's on wheels. Then just use my miter saw to cut them down to a length. Again, this isn't precision. I just picked a size that I thought was appropriate and cut them to that size. Then I took them to the table saw and I knocked off the excess pieces where the forklifts would actually go to lift these pallets up. Then just spent a little time sanding, knocking down the edges. Again, nothing major. It's a pallet. So I want to tell you a little tale of being a woodworker, and one specifically that uses a lot of older tools. I'm lucky enough to have inherited a lot of tools when my grandfather passed away, and this is one of them. Uh, it's a belt sander. I don't really know anything about it. I'm actually going to do videos, hopefully in the future, about these uh, tools that I was um, lucky enough to inherit. But this is one of them, and this is I just wanted to show the sequence. It's amazing sometimes what gets caught on film. You might have just seen something happen. I did not, and so I am turning the tightening screw on the right-hand side, and then that happened. Let's rewind that, and I'll show you actually what happened if you missed it. Right there, did you see that? Let's go from a different angle. You'll notice something comes flying off the bottom drum. That was the nut actually holding that drum on right there. The cotter pin actually flew out. I have no idea what happened to that thing. While it was still moving, my left hand was in the way and I didn't see that it was actually causing the drum to, to separate itself. I know I seemed calm and cool, but actually I was like this. But I was able to actually put on a new piece of sandpaper and it worked out great. But just one of the joys of working with older tools. I'm sure it won't be the last time something like that happens. Then I just took it to the bandsaw and knocked all the edges down. Then I just used my random orbit sander just again to knock down the edges. Broke out the old Craig jig, 
I have a philosophy with crank jigs and maybe I will talk about it at some point, but basically with this, I wasn't gonna spend hours doing fine joinery for a pallet, it just didn't seem worth it. So I broke it out, actually made quick work of it. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways one can attach this to the board. I just went directly into the plywood top, knowing that it was gonna get covered with some trim work that I'll show you here in a second. Again, I didn't wanna spend a lot of time on this. I wanted to knock it out for my wife. That's the basic shape. Then took some more pallets that I had, full cuts and pieces that would work as a trim around it, just to hide the plywood. Just checking things out, making sure nothing crazy is going on, and then use my sander again to work my way around it. So this is the finished table. I'm actually really happy and really excited how it came out. It came out way better than I thought it would, and it has worked out great in my wife's room. It, it holds actually crates on it that holds clothing and those kind of things. The one thing, is this gonna revolutionize the pallet furniture business? No. Is this some landmark in design? Of course not. But that's not really the point. The point is to show and to demonstrate and to encourage people to get out there with, with the tools and the resources that they can find freely and make something that they might not have had or they might make something that they need. Thank you again so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. I would love to connect with you. I also have some other videos that will be somewhere around here, and I'd love for you to check those out. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I'm trying to be more regular, and it's <laughs> a funny way to say it. I'm trying to be more regular in putting these videos online. Thank you again for watching. I'll check you later.